All right, welcome back. We are continuing with frequency separation and in this step, we're actually gonna be performing uh, this wonderful technique. So let's get started. You already have understood in the last video uh, what roughly we will be uh, trying to do. Okay, so this is our portrait as we've seen before. We've color corrected it. We've removed some of the blemishes. Um, also, anytime you wanna just bring this view closer, like I said, you can press control uh, and plus. Oops this or control and minus to zoom out or that will be command and plus and command and minus you can also go to this view um, menu here and you can click on zoom in zoom out you can see it'll tell you the shortcuts also here and you can also click on this fit on screen which is control plus zero and if you do that it just fits it on the screen which is often very convenient so let's get started now all right so the first thing we will be doing as we've already seen before is that uh, we need to you know, just get all this data, that is the color correction and the uh, spot healing on a separate layer. So we're gonna click on new layer and then we're gonna press Control, Alt, Shift and E. So that's gonna be Command, Option, Shift and E. Uh, whoops, one second. So that's gonna be, I'm just gonna delete this. So make sure the new layer, you create a new layer, make sure this is highlighted and then we're gonna go Control, Alt, Shift and E, okay? So this just merges all this onto this new layer. Okay, command, option, shift, and E. So we've got uh, this particular layer like I did before. Let's just uh, group these two layers. Let's just call this color correction. Just to stay more organized, that's it. Color correction and skin cleanup. Okay. Now let's start. So we've got this brand new layer, which is gonna be the base for our frequency separation. Okay, so this layer of course is the absolute original and this layer is gonna be the starting point for our frequency separation, so get ready. So the first step that we're gonna do is we're actually gonna create two duplicate layers of this particular layer. Okay, and how you can do that is you can either just click, right click uh, and click on duplicate layer and then do it again, selecting this new copy I'm then right clicking and clicking on duplicate layer. You can also do it from this layer, that's okay. Um, all right, so we've got basically two additional layers on top of this particular layer, which are just copies. There's no difference. If I hide this, it's not making any difference because you're seeing the same layer uh, underneath, all right? And what, by the way, you can also press Control and J. So if I just delete these layers by pressing Delete, um, I can also press Control and J and then again control and J or that'll be command and J uh, on a Mac. So then you can just do the same things. All right, so what we're gonna do is this top layer right now, you can just click on this eye icon to just hide this. And we are first of all gonna work on this first copy of this layer, okay? So basically what we will be doing is that the first copy that you're seeing this layer two copy this is going to be where we're going to separate out the low frequency. That means we're going to, you know, separate out the colors and the tones from this layer. Okay. And this top layer, we're going to, we're basically going to separate out the high frequency. And the high frequency part is the texture on the skin. So the low frequency is the color and tone like we saw before. And the high frequencies are all this texture on the skin that we see and what we are trying to achieve here is that on this layer will only have the low frequency that means the lighting the color and the tone and this particular layer will only have the texture so that we are able to separate these two frequencies and hence this is called frequency separation okay so let's get started so first of all we're not going to do anything with the high frequency layer that means the texture layer this is just hidden right now this is going to come into play slightly later on so first of all let's work with the color and tone frequencies okay so what we're going to do is this is definitely visible now what we have to do is we since we know that on this top layer which ultimately we will be working on this is what this is texture so we have to ultimately subtract the texture from this layer okay so what we have to do on this particular layer this one the first copy one the low frequency one what we have to do is we have to turn this into something which actually doesn't have any texture visible. Okay, once again, this is the first frequency we're working with, which is not the texture. 
the low frequency, the color, the tone, the lighting of the skin that you're seeing, okay? Right now, we have to do something to this layer that we get rid of the texture frequency. Basically, get, we just want to get rid of the texture so that later on when we do enable this top layer which has the texture, we'll be able to subtract this from this so that the texture comes on this alone. Okay, so you'll understand when we start the process. So this layer is hidden, let's start with this. So what can we do now with this layer so that we can hide the texture? Because later on we want to subtract the texture from this. Okay, so what we're going to do is, we're going to go to filter, we've already seen this before, we're going to go to blur, and we're going to go to Gaussian blur. Okay, then what, we're going to, what I'm going to do is, you can just move this preview window around anywhere near her face. Now just take it anywhere where you can see texture on her skin. Okay, like for example like this. If I just click my mouse, it shows me the original. And if I leave my mouse, it'll show me what will be the effect when I click on OK according to this radius that we have set. Okay, so let's start from zero. This is what we are seeing here. Now, we can see, maybe I can move it around here. We can see a lot of texture here. So let's start increasing this value. And you want to go up to a point where you're not able to see this fine texture. Okay, like you can even zoom in more like this. So you can see we can clearly see a very prominent texture here on the face. Our job is to just increase this till the time this just gets blurred out totally. Okay, so you can see something like this is fine. Also don't go overboard like this. You don't want to do this. You can see uh, this can have bad effects later on when you complete this frequency uh, separation technique. You just want to go to the point where the texture becomes invisible. Okay, right now visible, visible visible and something like this. Like on seven, you can see it's absolutely appearing plain, right? So I click on OK. Now, if you look at this layer, uh, we almost cannot see any texture. We can only see the colors and the tones here, right? And that is exactly what we want because now this layer, we have separated out the frequency. It doesn't have the texture anymore. Now we're going to switch on this layer again, the top one. And you'll find that our original photo comes back. And now what we're going to do is we know this doesn't have texture, this has texture. So what can we do so that this layer only has texture? Well, we can subtract this from this. And that will make sure that we only have texture over this layer. And how you do that is once this top layer is selected, go to image, click on this option which says apply image. Okay, again, go to image with this top layer selected, the one on on which we want the texture. And I'm sorry I keep repeating this, it's just a process where I have to explain this to you in a slow manner, okay? So, you go to image, go to apply image, and then this is where the subtraction will take place, okay? So, in the layer section, what you will select is, what is the layer that we wanna subtract from this layer, the middle layer where we blurred the things, okay? So we're gonna select here, layer to copy. Okay, so it's asking us from which layer do you want to uh, subtract this from? So from this layer, layer to copy, the one in the middle. Okay, this is the original, this is the middle one where we did the low frequency and this right now layer to copy to is the one for the texture. So in the blending mode, then you're going to select subtract. Okay, this is where the magic comes. This is how you basically are subtracting the true frequencies from this, okay? And you can leave the channel like this. Source is okay, opacity is fine. When it comes to these two values, scale and offset, this relates to um, the texture that you're seeing here, but we really don't wanna go into that. Uh, so to be frank, you know, you can kind of mug this up, to be very honest with you, just uh, because this is not gonna change, okay? Let scale be at two, let offset be at 128. No matter who does frequency separation, this is the most popular settings used by anyone, okay? So, because if I start explaining you this, it can get a bit technical for no advantage. We are not really gonna gain any advantage from learning what this does. So two, scale offset 128. If something, if your window is showing something else, just enter these two values and you'll always be using these two values, okay? So again, which layer one we, we wanna subtract it from? The middle layer, the one which we blurred. Channel is fine. Blending mode will be subtract, this is important, and scale and offset will be 128, 
and then just click on OK. You'll find that this layer has turned into this gray. And what you're actually seeing, if I zoom into this, what you're actually seeing isn't this beautiful. What you're actually seeing is just the texture on her face, on, the, on her nose here, the lips, the eyes, and it's just wonderful. But you're not seeing those colors and tones. That's a separate frequency which is on this layer. Okay, here you cannot see the texture. Here you can only see the texture. But right now you must be thinking, but Kush, this is looking so bad. This is looking gray. Why can't I see the proper texture? That's okay. No problem because we, what we're going to do is that we're actually going to convert this layer's blending mode. So with this layer selected, what you do is, so right now by default, every layer is set to the normal blending mode here. One that you can see here. We're going to select linear light. And the moment we select linear light, you can see here that this image returns to its uh, normal look. You don't really have to again understand how linear light works. That's okay. These three steps, the scale offset being 2, 128 and, and the blending mode of this layer being set to linear light is something that will always be done. So you can just do it without really thinking. All right. So now what we do know is that this particular layer only has the texture. And this particular layer, the blurred looking layer, only has the tones. And now we have a very simple task, which is that if we do anything to this particular layer, okay, we know one thing for sure, that the texture of her skin will not be affected. Okay, that's what we know. So we can literally do anything to this middle layer. The texture will remain absolutely untouched. Now, let me show you an example of that. And this, of course, going to look slightly funny, but I'm just doing this for a demonstration purpose. Now, if in between these two frequencies, okay, we have separated the two frequencies. Let's say I add a new layer. Okay. And now I take this paintbrush, brush tool, and I, let's say I select the red color. Okay. And now I'm just going to zoom in so that you can see this clearly. And I'm just going to paint here. Okay. What you will see is if I zoom, if you notice closely, let me zoom in further. Can you notice something that even though we were painting by this solid red color, this is not really looking solid. You can actually see some texture on it. Where is this texture coming from? Well, this texture is coming from this layer, the one in which we put the texture on. See what happens when I hide this layer. This red becomes like a solid red, just like how red is supposed to be. But when I do this, the texture is coming on top. So now, if I just let me get rid of this. Now, what we're going to do from the next step onwards is we are going to work on this layer, the one which has the colors and tones. And now we can try to blur it to match the tones by using the paintbrush. There are a lot of methods to do this. But basically, if I just hide this layer right now, we can work on these colors and tones to just make them look good. And then when we switch on back our texture layer, the texture won't be affected. Okay, so for what we'll do from the next step onwards is I'll be telling you a very easy technique which will enable you to quickly make the colors and the tones are very even on this particular layer. Okay, that's what our next step will be because even though right now we did blur it, but you can still see there's some inconsistency in it. So we'll actually be modifying this layer so that we can get these colors, the lighting, the tones to be extremely smooth, first of all, so that the face starts to look extremely smooth. And then we simply put the texture on top of it like this. Okay, that is going to give us super looking results. So I can't wait to do the next step. We'll do that in the next video. Bye for now.